Hey third graders, it's our time. Week seven, can you believe it? So your your surreal landscapes last week were phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna put them all together and maybe uh, by the end of today, I'll give you a chance to hand in anyone who hasn't handed theirs in yet and I'll put them together in, a, in some kind of display like a PDF so you can all look at them. Um, today, we're going to go back to life drawing a little bit and we're going to do a special kind of life drawing. Um, we're going to be making a crumpled paper drawing and I'm just going to take a piece of paper and um, some scrap paper. Paper bags are really good if, if you know, if you have like a grocery bag that's a paper bag, that's great. And we're going to make a microcosm, a little universe of our own with a crumpled piece of paper. And we're going to really study it and, and sort of the idea of this is to almost forget what you're looking at. And a crumpled piece of paper is very abstract, you know? It just looks like itself. It doesn't really look like anything else. So um, a, lot of, a lot of people who are learning to draw do this. And even some great artists keep doing this. So here we go. I'm gonna take this piece of paper. Now we wanna be, we wanna be really like at one with nature when we do this. We don't wanna to think too much about the crumple. We take this paper and just for maybe two seconds and we just let the, the vibe flow through our hands and go, Pah! that's it. And here's the crumple I have. And we don't, you don't wanna keep going at it and going at it until you have this little ball. So you want it to have an interesting shape and a kind of uh, a sense of movement that came from that one crumple. And, and I've just created a universe. It's got its own little hills and valleys and things in it. I guess it's a world, right? I'm gonna call it a universe. But now this is going to be the subject of my drawing. Okay, so Let's uh, let's have a look at this, shall we? All right, here's my crumpled paper, and I got a light on it. And when you sit down to draw your crumpled paper, you can turn it different ways. You can you can move the light if you if you have a lamp, you can move the light around in different ways. I said you shouldn't touch it too much, but you might have to smush it around a little bit to get it to stand in different ways. Oh, it looks almost like a shell like this. I don't know, you might have a crumpled paper that reminds you of a bird. But, um, oh, I kind of like this. Can you see it in the camera like this? It might be too tall to fit in. I might have to go a different way. And... Let's see. Oh, there's so many choices. I think, hmm. Oh, maybe I'll go for it like this. Turn a little bit into the light. Oh, I think I'm a little out of the camera here. I think I'm going to go for that. Okay. And, wow. When you first sit down to do this, you might feel like, man, there's a lot going on there. I don't even know where to start. And there are different ways to do this. Um, some people like to draw one little detail at a time. And uh, I like to sketch out the whole thing first, like kind of like I've been teaching you with the, with the other drawings we've been doing. And with this, it's going to be you know, it becomes almost a little hard to compare it to any kind of 
geometric shape. So we would call this more of uh, more of an organic shape, which means it doesn't it's not the same on both sides. There aren't a lot of straight lines. There aren't even a lot of perfectly curvy lines. So we really, when we draw this, we really just have to look at it for what it is. And, and what is it? Well, I try to break it up into a couple of simple shapes. So for me, I see this shape. It's pretty simple. And then this shape. Right, it's got a lot of stuff in there, but you know, the, am I tracing it right on the camera? This kind of shape here. So I'm gonna see if I can get those two shapes first. Okay. My little universe here. This is my paper in the picture. All right, yeah, I think so. Okay. So here we go. So this shape has a point here and then it kind of, the camera angle is a little different from how I'm drawing. It was hard to do it so you could see both things. But when I look at it, it kind of, it kind of tilts up a little bit going from the front corner to the back corner. Let me see. You know what? I'm wrong. It tilts down a little bit, doesn't it? So that's very important, just how the whole thing is tilting. So going from here to here, it just kind of, oh, it's a shape that's, oh, like a, like a teardrop shape, right? And it's a, Teardrop that slants down a little bit. Now, it's hard for me to tell you how to draw your crumpled paper because yours will be totally different from mine. So I'm just kind of showing you how I think. So I've got this shape. And, you know, it's not going to be right at first, right? We've talked about that. It's, um, we're just trying to get something kind of close and inside that I'm just going to sketch the way this kind of This almost looks like a mouth over here. Oh man. The more I look at it, it kind of looks like some kind of whale. Like a whale from another planet. So I'm just kind of... I'm looking at the parts that stick out the most. So you've got these two triangles. Anything that's like as, as recognizable as a triangle can help us. And I'm just, just kind of trying to sketch out how the whole thing comes together. Am I still in the picture? I hope so. And let's see. Oh, I know I'm going to have to move. What I notice is that this line almost seems to continue. Can you see if I go like this and go through here? I know there's no line going through it, but it seems to get picked up over here on the bottom. So I want to kind of get that. And then this top... Sometimes it looks like something's angling up, but it's actually angling down. That top 
Yeah, it's funny. It actually angles down, even though it looks like it's moving up. All right, and that, that's a really rough beginning. Sorry, I had to get my eraser. I'm going to need this guy a lot. Hello, eraser, my old friend. Okay, so now, now what do we do? Oops, I just moved the camera a little bit with my head. Oh, it's all crooked. Crooked. Okay, is that a little better? Oh my gosh. Trials and tribulations. Okay, I think that's about right. So now, what would I do next? Gonna try to get this shape a little bit better. And as I go, things are gonna be changing and changing. Now, drawing like this, wow. How long would I spend on this? I might spend hours just drawing this. So I think what I'll do is just sketch out the whole thing. Just a little bit. Yeah. Hmm, I see I'm going to have to change a lot of things here. This comes down, this is, this is a lot shorter than I thought. See? Almost as much fun as Roblox, isn't it, kids? Oh, I know I can't compete with Roblox. Who am I kidding? But you know what? This is so good for your brain. This is almost like a brain workout to do this. And little by little, I'm getting that shape. Now I think I'm going to try to get this line, right? That's that's a cute line. That's where it gets all crumply and crinkly. And so what I look for are, again, the biggest shapes. And then I try to go a little smaller. Oh, I see there's some things that are not quite matching up once I get down here. I'm going to have to make some changes. And when you do this, you're going to have to keep changing and changing. All right. And, I mean, as you do this, you might see all kinds of things. You might see faces or animals or machines or I don't know what. See, now I'm looking at this and this is too big. The more you work on it, the more you notice. I'm probably drawing a little darker than I would if I was just doing this myself, just so you can see it a little bit better. The lighter you do this, the easier it is for you to erase things. So this, oh, I like the way, look at this. The more you go, the more you see how things are connected. 
and you see patterns of shapes that fit together. Oh, you know what? This little loop, loopy thing here goes over a little bit more. And there are other things you could do this with. You could do this with with uh, fabric. You could get a pile of laundry. And just kind of toss it up and let it land and then see what kind of folds you get. I would do that, but I'm afraid the laundry will come to life and attack me at this point. Let's see. Um, this line here, let me see this. Hmm. Now I haven't even started to put in shading, right? I'm just drawing the shapes. Let's see, this is pretty, this has got like a cute little, am I still in the drawing, uh, in the picture? Yes. A cute little curve here as it comes down. Stays. I love this this paper. It's a little piece of garbage, right? There's a whole world in this little piece of garbage. This this little crumpled piece of trash. Uh oh, I hit the camera. Let's see. Now, it looks different from where you are. So, don't be too hard on me. If I move, maybe at the, uh, at the end, I'll move the camera down. It's hard to get an angle where you can see the drawing and the thing. I know I already said that. So, you know, another thing you can play around with, I didn't really do this yet. You can play around with the lighting. Like, look, if you do that, then everything's in shadow there. Okay. Ooh, it gets kind of mysterious looking when you do that. If you do it like this, it looks much more like everything is evenly lit. All right, you get kind of pieces of almost uh, like very clear shapes of triangles kind of next to each other. I kind of like it. I kind of like the way I had it at the beginning. Maybe even a little more shadow. I like my shadows. I like shadows. So let's see here. You know what? Let me, is this is this too angly over here? So spend some time getting your shapes right, and then you can start to. Do your shading. Like there's a big hunk of shadow here. Some nice shading here. Ooh, here's a nice little piece of shadow over there. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, here's a nice little shadow on this part. They kind of some of them kind of go together, like the shadows just almost melt into each other. Uh, here's a nice little hook of shadow here. This is very... You call it meditative, you know? So, hopefully you can get the idea from this short video. This is not a, you know, you gotta 
spend some time with it to get all those little pieces. And of course, there's that cast shadow. Do you remember that vocabulary word, cast shadow? It's cast shadow on the table. So this is one way to do it. You know what? I'm going to flip the old paper over here and show you another way to do it. Okay. So the other way to do it is also very meditative. I should play the Ravi Shankar in the background as I do this. And, uh, and this is called contour drawing. And when you do this, just one little, you, you pretend that your eye and your pencil are connected. And you just try to follow the outline. Land the. Sometimes I slip out of the camera range. That's why I keep doing that. I messed up a whole video before. And you just go little by little. And you, you don't even just keep your pencil moving. And you try to look at what you're drawing as much as you can. Don't look at your paper too much. And just see, okay, now the pencil goes. I'm over here now, in case you're wondering what I'm drawing. Pencil goes, the, the, the shape goes straight. Then it goes up. Then it goes slanting. How far does it slant? Oh, that line's a little bit off. I'll just redraw it over here. And then it goes like this. And you might have to kind of return back to another spot you were at. Just little by little. And you might only draw part of something like this. You might just get really into one little piece of a crumpled paper. So a contour is an outline. And this is called contour drawing where you just try to follow the outline one little piece at a time. So it's, it's two different ways of looking. One is looking at the whole thing and breaking it down and one is looking at it one little piece at a time. So again this would take I'd, I'll be here all for hours doing this. So those are the two main ways that you can try this out. And um, give it a shot, all right? Let's see what you can do with this, your crumpled paper observational drawings. Okay, guys? All right. I hope you're all feeling well and having as much fun as you can have without getting into trouble at home, and um, I'll uh, look forward to seeing what you, what you do with this. Okay, bye-bye.